Hi everyone this is Dr Sarala welcome to Millet Magic the hero of today's dish is everyone's all time favorite the evergreen the attractive mutter or fresh green peas and in the supporting role is someone who has made very few appearances in the past the very versatile and tasty raw jackfruit together they complement each other very well and we have brought them together to present to you millet mutter pulao the ingredients that you'll need to make millet mutter pulao are 1 cup of any millet i prefer to use either little millet or barnyard millet for this dish millets need to be soaked well for 6 to 8 hours before they are cooked this is because the fiber of the millets is present from the center of the grain to the periphery and for the innermost fiber to be soaked and for the entire grain to cook well soaking is a must only then is it digested well so let me just remind you again that there are no shortcuts to cooking millet rice and you have to have soaked the grain for 6 to 8 hours for 1 cup of millet use 2 cups of water for soaking and use the same water for cooking it as well though usually while making matter pulao the rice is cooked along with the peas in the tadka along with the remaining masala when we are cooking with millets the dish turns out much better when we cook the rice separately after cooking the millet rice spread it out on a plate for about 10 minutes so that the excess water evaporates and the rice is no longer mushy instead you are left with fluffy nice millet rice and of course we need fresh boiled green peas since 1 cup of millet rice serves 3 people the amount of green peas needed is 3 fistfuls 1 fistful of green peas is the amount of protein required per head per day you'll also need about 1 cup of pre-cooked raw jackfruit we have already shown you how to cut and prepare raw jackfruit and keep it ready to be used in our previous video of raw jackfruit millet kebab if you haven't already watched this video please do by clicking on the i button above or by clicking on the link in the description box below you will also need about 15 to 20 leaves of pudina to give a hint of the flavor of mint in the background a few green chilies which we'll be splitting and adding in for the spice an inch of ginger and a few pods of garlic which need to be pound together to get a ginger garlic paste we're not going to be using any garam masala for this recipe instead we'll be using the whole dry spices you'll need about 2 teaspoons of jeera about a teaspoon of peppercorns an inch and a half of cinnamon 4 to 5 elaichi 5 to 6 cloves and 2 bay leaves and you'll need some oil for cooking here i'm using groundnut oil which has been extracted by bull driven wooden kanis and you'll also need some desi ghee and now to make the millet mutter pulao in a thick bottomed steel kadai heat about 4 to 5 teaspoons of cooking oil along with 2 teaspoons of desi ghee Once the oil is well heated add in the jeera and allow it to splutter then add in the rest of the dry whole masalas 
that is the peppercorns the elaichi the cloves the bay leaf and the cinnamon saute for about half a minute make sure that you turn down the flame to sim so that you do not burn the spices next add in the ginger garlic paste and saute for a minute to remove the rawness of the ginger and garlic next add in the slit green chilies i have used four green chilies but you can always use more or less depending on how much spice you require then add in the chopped leaves of pudina and saute for a minute next to go in are the cooked green peas saute again for another minute green peas in winter are fresh and so much tastier and even for your health it's best to use seasonal vegetables in their natural seasons then add in salt to taste and mix everything well it's now time to add in the pre-cooked raw jackfruit pieces raw jackfruit being rich in fiber protein vitamins and minerals is super healthy and is even super tasty so do add in a few pieces of raw jackfruit into your pulavs or curries whenever it is available next add in and incorporate the cooked and cooled millet rice little by little once everything has been mixed well together we're going to use a special technique to heat the millet rice which had previously been cooled and also to allow for all the flavors of the pulao to combine well together for this place a thick iron tawa on the stove and allow it to become hot then place the kadai used to make the millet matar pulao on the iron tawa sprinkle some water cover with a lid and allow without disturbing it for 15 minutes directly heating the steel kadai would involve the risk of the bottom layers of the pulao getting burnt in this process there is a slow and steady heat which is applied and the sprinkled water gets converted to steam and does its magic hot and tasty millet matar pulao with the goodness of raw jackfruit ready to be served you can serve it with raita or with a gravy of your choice but i like it as such since it's so tasty on its own this dish is so simple yet the rice is full of flavor and makes for a complete healthy meal so do try out this recipe before the current season of green peas is over we'll be back next week with another interesting millet recipe until then happy cooking